Hey everyone, it's Ashlina. Welcome back to my channel. I am excited today because I'm doing another Sixters reaction and this is also a patron request from Dan who also did a patron request for the first Sixters reaction. So I feel like he's just like, I'm keeping you honest. I want you to continue listening to these girls and I'm here for it. So he wants me to do the song Hold. Uh, we had a little bit of back and forth about what song he wanted to do, but he ended up wanting me to do hold. So we're going to watch the official music video. Again, I'm not a big music video person. I just don't care for them. I like listening to audio. I like watching live performances. I love watching behind the scenes and things like that. I also love a good lyric video, but like music videos just don't do nothing for me uh, unless they're just like epic. An example, Lana Del Rey's Born to Die. That music video is probably my favorite music video of all time. It's just cinematically gorgeous so if you haven't seen it go watch it if you just want to see what a cool music video in my eyes looks like okay let's get into this music video i like her shoes To see you make a pure show We go to the sunrise Only once, not twice There's no time for joking We're so tired of waiting To act you like a savior To feel the fresh and sunny wind Which will lead us to the dream And nothing gonna save you To feel the fresh and sunny wind which will let us do the dream Let us do the dream Hold my hand, hold my hand Don't be afraid, don't be afraid They will never find us They will never catch us Up and up, up and up Up and up, up and up They will never find us They will never catch us From here, come on, baby, quickly. Yeah, we keep our goals alive, and the stars shining high. My stars shining high, mother. Just take it to another life. We will move with the speed of light, like the riders of the storm This is what we burn for What we burn for Hold my hand, hold my hand Don't be afraid, don't be afraid They will never find us They will never catch us Up and up, up and up Up and up, up and up They will never find us They will never catch us that made in Ukraine cute I really loved the melody of the song and I love that it's just an acoustic guitar like I I dig it uh, I'm just gonna go and search for the lyrics really quick because there are a couple things I just didn't get so I just want to make sure I'm uh, listening properly <sighs> okay so they said on their channel this song is about truth and relationships between people with this song we want to say how important it is to tell exactly the truth and be honest with your loved ones okay 
Unfortunately, there are no like full set of lyrics anywhere, which is super annoying. I don't know. I think like they really do have thick Ukrainian accents. So some some of what they're saying uh, just kind of flew over my head and I didn't really hear it. But regardless, I think it's a great song. It's very pretty. It gives me like Avril Lavigne's. Um, what album was that? Like her first album, Let It Go Vibes. And that's not a bad thing because I'm a very big Avril Lavigne Let It Go album fan. Okay, that album is gold. Uh, I dig it. And it, I don't know why. Maybe it's, see, this is why I hate music videos because just the way they were dressed gave me Avril Lavigne vibes too. <laughs> With the tie and like the skater shoes. Like I wear Converse every day of my life, so I shouldn't judge. But um, I think it's just the way they presented themselves gave me Avril Lavigne vibes too. But again, that's not... I would say that's a compliment because <laughs> I love Avril Lavigne and her style. But yeah, I just, I don't know what it is. I think this is a cute song. Uh, I wouldn't say this is like a huge hit or anything like that. Um, I think it's a great song to have on a full album. That's a vibe. There's nothing wrong with the song. But I would love to hear this like with a full band, like a full band version. I think that song would be way better if it was a bit harder maybe throw an electric guitar there get the drummer in there get the bass you know all that good stuff and see what it would sound like uh i'm so curious why they did it with just an acoustic guitar i'm so curious because they're a large group of people in this band right like they're sisters there's six of them uh i think there's only five in that video though which is weird no let me just double check. Yeah, there was only five of them in that video. So someone explain to me why they're called the Sixers if there's only five of them now. Unless one left, which is fine. It's not like you're going to change your band name to the Fivers. Like, that would be weird. You're always going to be the Sixers even if um, one person leaves. So that's totally cool. Yeah, I'm just curious why they did this song like this. I feel like if they have a full album and this is just a random song on the album, I dig it. I think it sounds great. I love that how they were all incorporated. Like you have your backup singer, you have someone playing the shaker, you have the acoustic guitar, you have someone banging on the box as like a drum, and you obviously have the lead singer. So it's not like anyone was useless in this scenario, which is great. Um, but I would have loved to hear the song with a full band. I think this song would have been so much better with a full band. But other than that, I, I dig it. It's a good song. Will I probably listen to it again on my own time? Probably not, but that doesn't mean it's not a good song to jam to and listen to. But for a first listen, I'm still impressed and I would really like to listen to more of them. And I'm so curious to see, you know, what they do and uh, more of their stuff, because I'm told that a lot of their songs are so different that it just really depends what you're into and what you'll like. But I'm a sucker for an acoustic song, so I dig this, but it's still not something that I'm like drawn to if you know what I mean <laughs> Dan thank you so much for your patron request I definitely would love to hear more from this band so if you do have any more recommendations or if you're a Sixers fan go to the comments and uh, let me know what you'd like to hear but I obviously take my patron requests first and this one was great and you know it's funny because he did mention another song first and then changed his mind to this and I, I think this was a great choice I think it's nice to see them do something you know, a little more chill, but I, I really want to see these girls rock out. That's all I want to see. So if you know of a rocking out song, let me know. Okay, guys, let's talk about my vinyl of the day. Oh, it's so far away. It's so far away. Okay. I just got it in the mail. Can you please hold? Okay. This is, okay. This is fresh out of the post office, guys. I got the new Linkin Park paper cuts Zotrope album, and I am beyond stoked to own this masterpiece like listen this album is fire every song crawling faint you have numb with jay-z which is so annoying because i hate that version but whatever we have paper cut breaking the habit one more light burn it down what i've done qwerty as i call it uh one step closer in the end bleed it out somewhere i belong waiting for the end castle of glass new divide leave out all the rest lost numb and friendly fire like now you can't tell me this is a sick singles album, okay? I did open this on my YouTube shorts, but I'm going to give you a little taste of what this sick ass vinyl looks like. Like, come on, when you spin that, it's going to look insane. Come on. That says Lincoln Park, by the way. Anyways, that is my vinyl of the day. Uh, it just came out last week, I think on the 12th. So go stream it. 
go buy a vinyl. This one's sold out. It is an exclusive uh, vinyl, but they do have others if you're interested. And go check out Linkin Park because even with Chester gone, all their music, you know, stays alive and I'm going to listen to it for the rest of my life. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in my next video.